When change comes knocking on our door, we say, oh, not today, come back another day. Change is great. You go first. Who do good people want to go to work for? Since last night, I've probably shaken 200, 250 hands and engaged in all kinds of conversations with you. And it is certainly my great pleasure to introduce to you the world-renowned Jason Jennings. Here I am. Here you are. Good afternoon, or good morning. Oh, wait a minute. I flew halfway around the world to be here with you. Uh, all together now, I can get a better good morning than that. Let's try it one more time. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Well, let's begin. Leadership secret number one. Great leaders master the art of letting go. Is there anybody in the room who knows anything at all about catching monkeys? All right. Like, okay, wise guy, why would you want to catch monkeys? Well, the traditional way of catching monkeys has been to go into the forest, a tranquilizer gun, find the monkey that's got to get moved, shoot the little bugger, they fall to the ground, you crate them and move them. But about half of them die that way. And while I may tend to be a conservative person, I salute people for the ethical treatment of animals, in this instance, for forcing monkey catchers to resort to a method of catching monkeys that is hundreds of years old. And as I tell you the story, I will tell you, I have been on monkey catching expeditions this way in Indonesia, and as recently as three months ago in India, I'm not talking to you about something out of a book, I'm talking to you about something I've personally taken part in. Today, when monkeys have to be captured, the monkey catcher goes into the forest or jungle with little more than a huge cloth sack filled with a bunch of gourds. And when he finds a monkey that's got to be moved, he takes out a machete, slices the gourd in half, gets rid of all the flesh onto the forest floor, and puts the two halves back together again. He's got a hollow gourd. And then with twine or with vines, he binds it so his hollow gourd has got integrity. And then with the tip of his knife or machete, he cuts a small hole. And then in full view of the monkeys, he begins filling it with peanuts. He sets it down on the ground. And if you've ever been around monkeys, they're the most aggressive little characters you've ever met. By the time the monkey catcher is five feet, 10 feet away, the monkey is out of the tree, picks up the gourd, knows there's peanuts inside, and begins working its little tiny hand inside the gourd and grabs a fistful of peanuts. Now there's only one problem. What can't the monkey do? Say it. Can't get out. You ought to see them. They go postal. <laughs> they start to yell and scream and carry on and go ballistic. They will finally accept help from anyone. And the monkey catcher goes up, very gently anesthetizes it, crates it, and moves it. Now, I want everybody in the room, all together now, the moral of the story is this. What is the, o say it loud, they got a camera on you. What is the only thing the monkey would have had to have done to have gotten free? Say it. Let go. Let go. But you see, primordial urgings wouldn't permit the monkey to let go. Here's the most important thing we discovered about the leaders of the fastest, most productive, and best sales organizations in the world. They have mastered the art of letting go in three areas. And today I'm going to ask you as leaders, what do you need to let go of so that you can truly focus on the things you need to do? What do you need to let go of? 